this is the uh, meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, and uh, notice of this meeting was published on July 30th and sorry, June 30th and July 7th. Um, I'm David Bloomberg. I'm here with Elizabeth Silver and Maureen Scanlon uh, as voting board members. And uh, Carolyn Mish is here from the Office of Planning and Sustainability. Um, <clears throat> we will uh, uh, first open the hearing for any public comment. Is there anyone else in the waiting room, Carolyn? Okay, so seeing no one will, uh, uh, we won't have any public comment and we can move right to the one item on the agenda, which is the application for a special permit by Poyant Signs for additional wall sign at Dunkin' Donuts, 132 King Street, Northampton, map ID 31B-79. And we'll ask the uh, representative of the applicant to um, identify himself by name and address for the record and yep. to present a brief overview of the application and uh, then we'll go from there. Thank you, David. Uh, yep, my name is uh, Bill Gavigan uh, with Point Signs. Uh, I live at uh, Seven Farmstead Lane in Ellington, Connecticut. Um, I am uh, trying to uh, go in front of uh, the board here today to try to seek relief uh, to be granted for an additional sign um, on the um, street facing uh, exterior. We're, we're doing a remodel um, at the Dunkin' Donuts on King Street, and um, we are allowed the, the two. Um, assuming you have the, the sign package there. We have a set of Duncan Channel letters on the front and a, a DD set on the side. What we're seeking relief for is also on the front of the building, part of the new uh, next gen branding, the new imaging of Duncan. Um, they have a their tagline, America runs on Duncan. And they're trying to obviously wordplay that every way that they can, right? As, as a brand, uh, Celtics run on Duncan, Patriots, whatever. Um, but um, one of the really unique, cool ways of doing that, I think, uh, is being able to brand it to the local community. So what we're trying to get granted here is the sign on the front elevation that reads Northampton runs on Duncan. Um, it goes on a, a wood paneled wall. Um, it's a wood grain hardy plank paneling. Um, and then it has, uh, it's external, externally illuminated with bullet lights, um, little kind of tiny goosenecks that come down um, above the wood paneling and, and light the three quarter inch cut PVC uh, dimensional letters um, from, from the outside. Okay, thank you. Uh, any questions from board members? Um, just uh, yeah. around the lighting and the timing that it goes off, that the uh, lighting will be turned off. Will it be with the close of business? I, I would assume all of, and I, I'm Sorry, I don't know how that is, but I could certainly check. But I would assume all signage probably is shut off when the business closes at night. Well, um, let me so let me I'm, let me I'm put it this sure way. That's... Let me put it this way. Rather than checking, <laughs> they need to be told that's that's the condition. You know, to have it. Okay, yeah. Okay. I would imagine all the signage is on a timer, but yes, I would confirm that. Okay. So. Uh... And this might be a question for Carolyn for clarification on what portion of this is outside of what 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 brings this to our agenda. Uh, so there are um, there are several signs in that sign package right so on the front face we would count those two signs, um, I think it's DD at the top and um, Northampton runs on Duncan on the close to the door. Um, so that counts as two signs. They're allowed by right one sign. So the Northampton runs on is the subject of the special permit. The, the ground sign is just a replacement panel. So that's not part of your, the, and the sidewall sign is also allowed by right. So the other, those two are um, all already been approved at the building department, as well as the one um, front wall sign that's allowed by right. So the front wall sign that exists right now, which is going to change only in wording, it said Duncan Donuts, I think, and now it's going to say Duncan with slightly different graphics. And the DD is on the side. If I, I'm sorry if I've got this wrong. I was just reading it quickly, Bill, before we. Yeah enter this meeting, but I think that's what it is. That the DD is on the side and that the primary pre-existingly approved 
sign on the front said Dunkin' Donuts, and now it's just going to say Dunkin'. Is it the same Correct. size? Is anything changed? Oh, thank you. Is, is there anything different about that sign that we should know about? Different well, lighting? it's the, yeah, the old sign, and I'm sorry, I am trying to kind of look that up right now on Google Maps to see what's there currently. Um, and I've, I've surveyed the location. I've been there. I just don't remember offhand. Um, but I believe um, it is a box sign that they have there right now. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm pulling it up right now. Yes. Um, so that is basically, um, and because everything is standardized in Duncan, I can pretty much tell sizes by looking at them. That is a, a four by nine sign, essentially. So uh, it's about 36, um, or I'm sorry, four by seven. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so it's, it's, you're, you're definitely reduced in, in square footage. Um, you know, we're, we're, I guess, looking at, you know, 30 square feet getting dropped down with the channel letters to about, um, 22.75. I believe the new channel letters are for the Duncan, uh, the new branding they're using channel letters mostly. And the old signs were boxed. Uh, so there's a lot of white, dead space basically on the outsides. Uh, so, you know, the new image really minimizes the amount of square footage being utilized in comparison to how the old signage was. Okay. And it's not the letters themselves that are illuminated on that pre-existing sign. It's actually the back, the whole square it, white area. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the whole thing, Maureen. It's, it's, it's the, the box itself, the whole face would be illuminated. So the letters and the white background all of that would have illuminated before. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And the Northampton Duncan, that's not, are those letters, those letters illuminated or is that what you talked about? So sort of gooseneck lights hanging right, down over Right, exactly. Lights. Yep, yeah, they're, 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 they're right. a PVC okay. letter, a, a cut PVC, so so light can't come through them. So yeah, they are externally illuminated and they're, they're meant to be a little bit of dimensional to give it a little bit more depth. Right. And they're against like that hardy board clapper sort of treatment yeah it's 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 kind of a fancy siding i guess um right. you know a little higher end siding but essentially it's it's yeah it's it's a composite siding of some sort thank you and carolyn how much does this go beyond the uh like approved uh total area signage um it's a good question i i so we are allowed 10 percent of the facade or 100 square feet which is whichever is less and so uh let me see if i can find the dimensions i did not check that piece um but the i don't think it exceeds the 10 percent um it's really just about the second sign yeah I'm thinking it's probably not exceeding the 10%, just yeah. generally eyeballing it. Right, so the Duncan is 22, 20, 20, maybe four square feet. And then this one is um, two by 10. So, yeah, that's another 20. so that's 45 square feet. So, um, you know, if you look at this facade, the whole wall, um, uh, I don't know how that would be sort of 45. Yeah. I mean, it might be right at 10%. Yeah. Thanks. That's, that's close enough to my uh, considerations. Thank you. I just have a dumb question. We, we, you keep saying Northampton runs on Duncan, but the runs on is just that image of somebody running, correct? Correct. It's the running man. It's just part of that logo that they have. So yeah, instead of the words runs on, it's just what they call the running man. Right. So it kind of looks like Northampton Duncan. E either way, I'm fine with right. it. Uh, any, any other questions from the board? No running women. It's a running person. Certainly could be the running woman. Yes. No, well, maybe, uh, maybe no. DD needs to think about this. And not, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that I haven't heard that yet. You're absolutely right. I mean, if you don't want to pose it as the running man, that will be a little uh, alienating. That is a fair point. Um, so my only thought is, if we try to tie it into hours of operation, 
I mean, some Dunkins are 24 hours, right? So are we fine with that if it ends up being a 24 hour location? I just feel like we should have full awareness of what we're okay. But only because I'm looking at that big white square area behind the big Duncan side, and that's a big area of white. That would, could be oh, a very oh, bright light. Oh no, I'm so sorry. No, for the existing sign, the white is, is that's just fascia, that's painted. So, so the Duncan letters, the new ones, I'm sorry, when I said the white illuminated, that was with the existing sign. With the new proposed sign, that whole white background is just a painted, it's oh, just a painted you. wall. Okay. I'm sorry, Maureen, I'm sorry. That's a big difference in, in just in impact, in light impact, thank you. Well, it's still a fair question. What are the hours of this business? Do we know? That's exactly what I'm yes. trying to text uh, the owner right now. Yeah, this is this is Manny Sardinia. Um, oh, here he is. Franchisee. Yes. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, right now, the hours of operation is five to uh, seven, I believe. At one point, it was twenty-four hours, um, but we don't foresee going any further than than nine o'clock at night. Carol, um, I would just go, to... go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, typically um, you've looked at signs um, and the lighting of the signs um, to evaluate whether or not they should stay on as sort of advertising beyond the time of operation. So, and that's where you've put limits is saying, okay, while you're open, your sign is lit because you want to almost, you know, acknowledge to people that the business is open for 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 serving customers. Um, so I think even if it were 24 hours, that would still fit in with sort of the, the um, direction that you all have taken to say, well, while you're open, you wanna make sure people know that. And so you can have your signs on, but when you're closed, you need to turn that off. Um, doesn't sound like they're gonna be open for 24 hours anyway, but I'm you know, just throwing that out there to, for evaluation. So just make a condition that when the store is closed, the sign has to signage has to be off. It doesn't address if it turn can, changes to a 24 hour business, in which case they could be, the, I think Maureen's point is well taken. We need to be aware that in that example, it means the lights would be on or the signs would be illuminated for 24 hours, but it is helpful to know that that white backing is not actually illuminated. It's just white paint. I think I'm still okay with it, but uh, everyone has, well, I wanna make sure everyone opines. Yeah, no, I don't have any other questions or concerns and I'm happy to move to, all my questions. Right, I'm happy to move to close the public hearing unless the person who just joined us wanted to say anything. Is, it, is there anyone else, uh, Carolyn, in the waiting room? Just be. I assume there's no one other, no other members of the public who wanted to address this application. There's no one else. Okay, thank you. And I think the other person who spoke is maybe the owner or the franchisee, but uh, I guess I'll just ask out loud, is, is there any, I mean, I can ask the applicant, did, did uh, you or, or your client have any, uh, any other comments before we close the public hearing, I, I think? I think we have the information we need, and I personally have no problems with this application. No, I, I, I think uh, I, as long as all of your questions have been answered, I, I think good. we're good, David. Thank you. Okay, thanks. So, Elizabeth, motion to close the public hearing. Yeah, so moved. Second, Maureen, and uh, I guess we need a roll call because we're virtual. Carolyn, please. Um. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth Silver. Yes. Uh, Maureen Scanlon. Yes. And David Bloomberg. Yes, so that's unanimous. And now um, do we have a motion just on the application for the special permit for the? Sure, um, I move that we approve the special First. permit as requested on the, with the condition that the lights on the new sign be turned off at the, at the close of business. That's fair. I think I heard a second for Maureen. 
for discussion, Carolyn, do we have the authority to require the lights for all of the signs to be turned off when the business is closed, or do we only have authority with respect to the new sign that we have to approve? Um, Bill, you have some talk going on in the background. If you can mute yourself, that would be good. Um, so the uh, the jurisdiction um, is really with the sign that your the special permit that's in front of you. So it really is just that one sign. But um, Which is what I think I heard Elizabeth say that this the lighting for the sign in question has to be turned off, so that that makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I it's I the least intrusive sign. But we, I guess we don't have the authority to right. sit down Not in our be turned right. off. Okay. Right. right. Okay. So I think we've had a, um, a motion and a second. So I think we can now vote on the motion to approve the special permit with that condition that the uh, sign that we are approving, the illumination has to be turned off at all times when the business is closed. So I guess we need a roll call, right? Which right. I'm, I'm actually, yeah, but yes. I'm actually taking what you just said as a sort of a friendly amendment, David, because I wasn't thinking it on the front end, but I think the way you phrased it in terms of the lights off when the business is closed, that covers that because theoretically, if it opens in the winter, it could, you know, it, they might, it, it could conceivably go on earlier. So I think it's just when the business is closed is a good addition to the language. Does that work for you, Carolyn? From your yeah. But okay, good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, so now I think we can have a roll call vote, please. Yep. Elizabeth Silver? Yes. Uh, Maureen Scanlon? Yes. And David Bloomberg? Yes. So that's unanimous. Um, congratulations. <laughs> and I, I, I apologize again for, for being late in, in starting this hearing. But Bill, I think you're all set. All right. Oh, he's probably muted. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. <You're> muted. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. Um, and then we have two, uh, minutes for May 12th and April 28th. I did see one, I think, typo in one of those that I'll point out. And then we also have the uh, approval of the uh, board bylaws and rules of hmm. procedure. Right. But first, um, Carolyn. Um, yeah. The minutes for May 12th, um, just about halfway down that page, it says David Bloomberg noted uh, the standard to determine if the project is or is not, it should be substantially, not sustainably more detrimental. <laughs> I mean, it, I guess it could be the other one too. <laughs> okay. But I think it's supposed to be substantial. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. And I don't think okay. I have any other edits on those minutes. Um, and then I don't know if anyone has comments. April 28th also, maybe we can just vote together. I think we can vote on both at the same time. Yeah, can I do a motion? Is it all, are we ready for that? I think so, yeah. Okay, I move that we accept um, the minutes for, I'm sorry, I've, I've just lost the dates, but. Uh, May 12th and April 28th. Thank you. What he said. <laughs> In a second, please. Second. Bring Okay, and a roll call, please. Carolyn? Oh, you're uh, Maureen Scanlon? Yes. Elizabeth Silver? Yes. And David Bloomberg? Yes, so that's unanimous. Uh, those are approved. And then we just, the last piece of business, I think, is the board bylaws and rules of procedure. Um, and I just, I see some red line changes. I, most of which are just the, Just changing board the- Yeah, board. to no longer capitalize. Yeah. I know we had a conversation about these, but I don't, I, I, I took another look. I don't, I don't think I have any comments or changes or problems. Yeah. With, but. yeah, I'm fine with it too. Yeah, so the way it was left was, you know, that the, this meeting would be the one you'd adopted after describing all the, the you know the changes. Okay, so that if you're all is, set, then that would be ministerial. Fine. Okay, so I, I take it that takes a, a motion and a second and a, and a roll call. Okay, so just motion. For, what's that? Someone no, else. No, go talking. ahead. What are you going? Yeah, someone else is talking. Sorry. 
Okay. Uh, okay, just a motion. Well, I, to the, uh, actually, uh, I have uh, one cleanup question on sure. the last page, five, six, seven. It's kind of an awkward, choppy edit. Okay. Yeah, you're right. you're right. Just tighten that up so it's only one item, and I guess it would be five. Right. We would collapse okay. this in seven. Can we still approve okay. it based on that condition? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good catch. Um, so motion to approve and with so, that so correction. So moved. Yeah. We got second. Correction. Sure. Second. And roll call. Okay. I'm Maureen Scallon. Approved. Elizabeth Silver. Yes. And David Bloomberg. Uh, yes, so that's unanimous. That's approved. Um, well, anything else before we adjourn? Anything else before we adjourn? Uh, no, we do have a meeting on August 11th, whatever that first meeting is. And I know, I think David, you're, you can come, right? And yep. Elizabeth, you're out, or Maureen no. is out, right? I'm, I'm good I'm for out. the 11th. Okay. I'm out. All right. And then Sarah can come in, so we'll have enough, but we will have a meeting that day. Is Bob still generally available? Or his status hasn't changed, right? Right. And I texted, I sent him a message a few weeks ago, and then I mailed him the whole, you know, the connection and the and the permit. So I don't, maybe he just forgot. Okay. So, um... I guess that's it, but I guess we can adjourn. Eh? Yeah. Do you do yep. something uh, with I your... Have a, I have a topic that I wondered about, not, not for now sure. necessarily, but that, um, and I hate to rely on memory, but Carolyn, you had shared something with us about, um, a, you know, community, a group of people yeah. hoping to find more opportunities hey, to engage in, in boards and organizations. Where 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 does that stand, and is that something I, we should refamiliarize ourselves with? The city council was looking to create a committee to discuss this and figure out a way to um, reach more people who maybe aren't represented on these boards and encourage, and also in, just encourage people to participate in committee membership so they i don't know where they are um but they sent that out because they wanted sort of everyone who's currently on the boards to sort of help think about that and then maybe suggest other people who might be interested in participating in that conversation so i don't remember who's in charge you can contact laura krutzler if you're interested she's the council clerk um at l um, she's on the city council webpage, but um, it's L. Kressler at NorthamptonMA.gov. Um, but she'll be able to tell you what the schedule is or who, which counselors are involved in convening that committee. Okay. I just feel like it's something we should be sort of uh, aware of, up to speed on. So thank you. Good. I have not followed it. Okay. Good. All right, I've, got a, I've got to run. I have to go okay, pick somebody good. up at the hospital, so I'm going to uh, leave you. Uh, um, but I hope it's great to see you just, all. I think we need just a motion to adjourn. Oh, before motion to adjourn. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Sorry. and second. Yep. Second. And uh, roll call, I guess. Elizabeth Silver. Yes. Uh, Maureen Scanlon. Yes. And David Bloomberg. That's unanimous. Goodbye, Thanks. folks. Thank see you. you. See you in a couple great. weeks. <laughs>